Choosing not to react is like finding calm amidst chaos. It's a display of strength, not resignation. Today we're diving into an important yet challenging topic. How to effectively resolve problematic and harmful relationships. At some point, many of us have felt taken advantage of in a relationship, whether romantic, friendly, or familial. Sometimes these interactions, which should be mutually beneficial, end up being one-sided, benefiting only one party. Even when we recognize this imbalance, it can be tough to take a stand or step away. However, as Stoic principles teach us, we should focus our energy on actions and interactions that truly propel us toward our goals and aspirations. Therefore, it's vital to recognize when certain relationships do more harm than good. Instead of wasting energy in confrontations or emotional reactions, true wisdom lies in quietly withdrawing. Choosing to avoid conflicts and quietly cutting ties isn't about passivity. It's a deliberate decision to preserve our inner peace. Opting for a discreet withdrawal minimizes negative emotional impact and keeps our focus and energy directed toward what truly matters. This non-confrontational approach helps maintain serenity and mental health, ensuring that our personal environment remains a sanctuary against toxic influences. So we'll delve into seven tactics to identify these problematic relationships and gracefully end them without direct reactions. Each strategy offers a respectful and non-confrontational way to distance ourselves, preserving our inner peace while moving away from negative interactions. Stay tuned as each topic discussed here is crucial. Stick with us until the end and show some love by liking and subscribing to the channel. It's incredibly helpful and costs nothing to you. Let's get started. Number 1. Progressive Disengagement This is a subtle yet powerful technique for distancing oneself from individuals who bring negativity into your life, all without causing unnecessary confrontations. It involves a gradual decrease in the frequency and intensity of interactions, making it a less painful and more controlled process compared to abrupt cuts. The first step in implementing progressive disengagement is to limit communication. This can entail responding to messages less frequently and with shorter, less personal replies. In social settings, you might choose to physically position yourself further away or engage less in conversations. The key here is not to come off as rude but to safeguard your emotional energy. Additionally, prioritize other relationships that positively contribute to your life. By doing so, your time and energy will naturally be redirected to healthier and more enriching interactions. This not only strengthens valuable bonds, but also creates a natural barrier against the negative influences of the relationships you wish to avoid. Progressive disengagement allows you to maintain composure and dignity by avoiding the drama often associated with direct confrontations. By gradually reducing closeness, you give both yourself and the other person space to adjust to the new dynamics without experiencing intense emotional shocks. Adopting progressive disengagement is a way to affirm your own respect and value without getting entangled in conflicts. It ensures that your path to emotional and mental well-being remains preserved, allowing you to navigate relationships with grace and self-assurance. In summary, Progressive disengagement offers a strategic approach to dealing with toxic relationships. It empowers you to protect your emotional boundaries while maintaining a sense of dignity and respect. By gradually withdrawing from negative influences, you pave the way for healthier connections and a greater sense of inner peace. Number 2. Altering Habitual Behaviors That Are Widely Practiced Altering habitual behaviors that are widely practiced can be a practical and powerful strategy for minimizing unwanted contact with individuals who cause you emotional discomfort. When we find ourselves sharing common spaces or routines with someone who brings us harm, these inevitable encounters can become sources of stress and anxiety. However, adapting your itinerary or seeking out new environments to frequent can be an effective way to silently remove these negative influences from your daily life this concept resonates deeply with stoicism a philosophy that emphasizes the importance of controlling one's own life and minimizing external disturbances stoics advocate that we should focus on what is within our power and modifying our own habits to avoid toxic interactions is an excellent example of this philosophy in action. By consciously choosing when and where we are, 
we can create an environment that favors our tranquility. For instance, if you typically encounter someone who brings you harm at a certain cafe every morning, changing your coffee spot to another venue that offers a more positive environment can be a simple yet effective way to maintain your serenity. This change not only decreases the likelihood of encounters that can negatively impact your day, but also reinforces your autonomy and control over your own life, concepts highly valued by Stoicism. This adjustment in habits inspired by self-management allows you to shield yourself from external influences that disturb your inner peace. Instead of directly confronting the source of discontent, you circumvent it by aligning your actions with your needs and well-being, a direct reflection of stoic thought that suggests we should focus our energies only on the areas of our life over which we have control. In essence, altering habitual behaviors is a strategic and empowering approach to dealing with toxic relationships and environments. It empowers you to take charge of your own well-being by making deliberate choices about where and how you spend your time. By prioritizing your own tranquility and autonomy, you create a space that is conducive to personal growth and emotional stability. A space that is truly your own. Number three, steer clear of needless conflicts. Steering clear of needless conflicts is an artful dance of maintaining neutrality and brevity in your interactions. A tactful strategy for quietly distancing yourself from individuals who cause emotional discomfort without stirring unnecessary waves or drama. Engaging in long or emotionally charged conversations with such individuals can inadvertently strengthen the bonds you're trying to sever, fostering unwanted connections. By limiting communication to superficial and necessary exchanges, you safeguard your emotional energy and keep your focus on healthy disassociation. This approach serves a dual purpose. It not only helps prevent the escalation of tensions, but also facilitates a transition to a less painful and more discreet separation. When interactions are intentionally kept at a superficial level, the parties involved gradually lose interest in deepening the relationship, which can pave the way for a natural and conflict-free distancing. Moreover, by choosing not to respond emotionally and maintaining composure, you practice a form of self-control that lies at the heart of many philosophies focused on inner peace, such as Stoicism. This ancient philosophy teaches that we should avoid allowing our passions to control us and instead seek a life marked by rationality and emotional detachment. Therefore, by opting for brief and neutral interactions, you not only facilitate the process of cutting ties smoothly, but also exercise greater control over your emotional responses, aligning your actions with a path of greater peace and less disturbance in your life. In essence, steering clear of needless conflicts is about mastering the delicate balance between assertiveness and restraint. It's about knowing when to speak up and when to hold back, when to engage and when to disengage. By navigating interactions with grace and composure, you create an environment that is conducive to your own emotional well-being, a sanctuary free from unnecessary drama and turmoil. This approach requires a certain level of mindfulness and self-awareness. It's about recognizing your own triggers and vulnerabilities and taking proactive steps to protect yourself from unnecessary emotional turmoil. It's about setting boundaries and sticking to them, even when it's difficult. But ultimately, it's about reclaiming your power and autonomy in relationships. It's about recognizing that you have the right to choose who you allow into your life and who you keep at arm's length. And by practicing the art of steering clear of needless conflicts, you pave the way for a more peaceful and harmonious existence, one where your emotional well-being takes precedence above all else. If you've liked these ideas, consider subscribing to our Stoic Philosopher Insights channel below. Your support means a lot. Thanks for coming along on this journey. Now let's get back to our exploration. Number 4. Identifying Indicators of Toxicity Identifying indicators of toxicity within relationships is akin to sharpening your detective skills. It's the critical first step before considering the silent severance of ties. This step isn't just important, it's crucial. It's about objectively assessing whether your interactions are nurturing your mental and emotional well-being or slowly chipping away at it. 
behaviors like constant manipulation, excessive criticism, and disrespect for personal boundaries stand as glaring red flags, signaling toxicity. Picture this. If you feel like you're walking on eggshells around someone, if their words consistently wound rather than uplift, if your boundaries are routinely disregarded like yesterday's news, chances are you're dealing with a toxic relationship. Moreover, a toxic dynamic often manifests as a one-sided affair, a parasitic imbalance where one party continually drains the emotional reserves of the other while offering little to no sustenance in return. It's like trying to fill a leaking bucket. No matter how much you pour in, it never seems to be enough. Recognizing these signs isn't just about spotting trouble. It's about empowering yourself to make informed decisions about the company you keep. It's about reclaiming agency over your social landscape, weeding out the thorns to cultivate a garden of genuine connection and mutual respect. By learning to identify these telltale signs, you equip yourself with the tools to navigate relationships with clarity and purpose. It's like putting on a pair of X-ray glasses. You start to see beneath the surface, discerning the true nature of the bonds you've formed. This newfound clarity not only protects your mental health, but also optimizes your energy, allowing you to invest in relationships that uplift and inspire. It's about curating a circle of influence that fuels your growth rather than stifling it, a network of support that stands as a bastion of positivity in an often tumultuous world. Now, armed with this knowledge, comes the delicate art of silent disengagement a graceful exit strategy that preserves your peace of mind while respecting your emotional boundaries. It's about stepping back without creating unnecessary conflicts, gently extricating yourself from the web of toxicity that threatens to ensnare you. Silently cutting ties doesn't mean ghosting or burning bridges. It's about creating healthy distance for your own well-being. It's like quietly slipping out the back door of a crowded party. No fuss, no drama just a discreet departure to safeguard your sanity. In essence, identifying indicators of toxicity and acting accordingly isn't just about self-preservation. It's about reclaiming control over your narrative. It's about saying no to relationships that diminish your light and yes to those that illuminate your path. It's about honoring your worth and refusing to settle for anything less than the respect and reciprocity you deserve. So, let's hone those detective skills, shall we? Let's become experts at recognizing the warning signs, at sniffing out toxicity before it takes root. And let's remember that in the journey towards self-discovery and growth, sometimes the bravest thing we can do is walk away from that which no longer serves us. Number 6. Evaluating the Emotional Effects or Consequences In the journey of silently distancing yourself from toxic individuals, a crucial step is to meticulously evaluate the emotional repercussions of these connections. This process isn't just about skimming the surface. It's about diving deep into the murky waters of your psyche to unearth the true impact these relationships have on your well-being. Imagine sitting down with yourself for a heart-to-heart, -heart, peeling back the layers of your emotional landscape to examine the roots of your discontent. It's about acknowledging how certain people consistently leave you feeling drained, anxious, or questioning your worth. It's about shining a spotlight on the shadows of your mind, illuminating the toxic patterns that lurk within. This introspective journey isn't always easy. It requires courage, the courage to confront uncomfortable truths, to stare down the demons that haunt your soul. But in facing these shadows, you empower yourself to reclaim control over your emotional landscape. One of the key insights you'll uncover is the cumulative nature of toxic relationships. Like drops of water slowly eroding stone, these negative interactions chip away at your emotional resilience over time. What may start as a minor annoyance can snowball into a soul-crushing weight, dragging you down into the depths of despair. By conducting this honest assessment, you not only validate your own experiences, but also strengthen your resolve to break free from the chains of toxicity. It's like shining a light into the darkness, dispelling the shadows of doubt and uncertainty that cloud your judgment. 
Now armed with this newfound awareness comes the delicate dance of silent disengagement. It's about recognizing that direct confrontation or dramatic exits often only fan the flames of conflict, fueling the very negativity you seek to escape. Instead, by choosing to distance yourself quietly and non-confrontationally, you reclaim your power, the power to prioritize your inner peace and mental well-being above all else. It's a declaration of self-worth, a reaffirmation of your right to seek out relationships that nurture and uplift your spirit. This choice, though daunting, is also liberating. It's a radical act of self-love, a declaration that you refuse to settle for anything less than the respect and reciprocity you deserve. It's about drawing a line in the sand and saying, enough is enough. And as you embark on this journey of silent disengagement, remember that you are not alone. You are supported by a network of love and understanding by friends and allies who stand beside you in solidarity. So, take a deep breath, dear soul, and trust in the wisdom of your own intuition. Trust that you are worthy of love and respect, and that you have the strength to forge a path towards a brighter, more fulfilling future. And remember, in the end, it's not about the battles you fight, but the peace you find along the way. Number 7. Prioritize fostering new connections and relationships. When you make the courageous decision to silently cut ties with those who bring negativity into your life, it's imperative to redirect your focus towards fostering new connections and nurturing existing relationships that are healthy and positive. This shift in attention serves as a proactive step towards rebuilding your social support system and reinforcing your emotional well-being during what may be a challenging transition period. Think of it as tending to the garden of your social life. Just as you prune away the dead branches to allow for new growth, so too must you cultivate fresh relationships to fill the void left by the toxic ones you've cut off. By investing in connections that embody mutual respect, support, and personal growth, you create a fertile ground for your own recovery and development. These healthy relationships serve as a beacon of light in the darkness, offering a stark contrast to the negativity you may have experienced in the past. They provide a safe harbor where you can find solace, encouragement, and validation, a reminder that genuine and reciprocal connections do exist. Moreover, by actively engaging in the process of forming new friendships and strengthening existing bonds, you begin to fill the emotional and social void left by the absence of toxic individuals. This prevents feelings of emptiness or loneliness from taking root, ensuring that you remain grounded and connected even amidst the upheaval of change. Picture yourself reaching out to new acquaintances, engaging in meaningful conversations, and forging bonds based on shared interests and values. Each interaction becomes a stepping stone towards a brighter, more fulfilling future, a testament to your resilience and capacity for growth. As you immerse yourself in these positive interactions, you'll find that your social landscape begins to blossom with possibilities. The laughter of new friends, the warmth of shared experiences, and the comfort of genuine connection all serve to nourish your soul and uplift your spirit. In essence, prioritizing the cultivation of new friendships and the strengthening of healthy relationships is not just a strategy for disentangling yourself from negative influences. It's a foundational pillar for building a happier, more balanced life. So, embrace this opportunity to expand your social horizons, to welcome new faces into your inner circle, and to cherish the bonds that sustain you. For in the tapestry of human connection, each thread represents a unique story, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the power of love to heal and transform. Number 8. Using social media discreetly or with discretion. In our hyper-connected world, social media can be a double-edged sword, a battleground of opinions and a platform for liberation. When it comes to managing toxic relationships, it can be a powerful tool for silently cutting ties without igniting conflicts. However, using social media discreetly and with caution is key to navigating this delicate terrain. One of the first steps in discreetly managing your online presence is adjusting your privacy settings. By controlling who can see your posts and interactions, you can minimize the risk of unwanted confrontations or invasive observations. This simple yet crucial step 
allows you to maintain a level of control over who has access to your personal life, shielding yourself from potential negativity. Additionally, being selective about what you share online can further safeguard your emotional well-being. By reducing the visibility of your daily activities, you decrease the opportunities for negative comments or interactions from those you are trying to distance yourself from. This not only protects your privacy, but also helps preserve your mental and emotional health by minimizing exposure to potentially harmful interactions. Another useful strategy is to review and possibly restrict your lists of friends or followers on social media. Removing or muting individuals who contribute to negativity in your digital life can create a more positive and supportive online environment. Many platforms offer options to hide or mute someone without necessarily blocking them, providing a middle ground that avoids unnecessary drama while still protecting your well-being. Using social media with discretion doesn't mean isolating yourself from the online community. Instead, it involves engaging in ways that prioritize your peace of mind and promote positive interactions. By strategically managing your online presence, you can maintain an active and healthy digital life while discreetly distancing yourself from toxic influences. Ultimately, silently cutting off harmful people from your online circle is an act of self-defense, both emotionally and mentally. By choosing not to react directly and instead opting for a calculated and discreet approach, you protect your well-being and conserve your energy for healthier relationships. Implementing these strategies demonstrates a mature and thoughtful approach to dealing with toxic interactions. It reflects a commitment to yourself to live a less stressful and more rewarding life. It's about recognizing your right and responsibility to create a personal environment where mutual respect and support are the norm. So, as you navigate the complexities of social media, remember to prioritize your mental and emotional well-being. By adopting these practices, you not only improve your own quality of life, but also set a standard for the kind of relationships you wish to cultivate in the future. It's about taking control of your digital narrative and crafting a space that reflects your values and aspirations. Thank you for watching. For those of you who have made it this far, please comment Stoic Philosopher Insights. So I know you've watched the video until the end. Until next time, here's some more content you might enjoy. See you soon. Thank you for being part of Stoic Philosopher Insights. We appreciate your presence, and together we learn and evolve. While the path to wisdom may pose challenges, each stride we make brings us nearer to a deeply satisfying life. Let's continue advancing, resilient and united, every step of the way. Stay safe, stay stoic. See you in the next video. Bye.